today our objective is to discuss the concept of moment of a force and show how to calculate in two and three dimensions so today we will discuss moment of a force and I'll show you how to calculate the moment of a force in two and three dimensions so to calculate the moment of a force there are two formulations one is scalar formulation and the second is vector formulation so in the first part of this lecture we'll discuss the scalar formulation for calculating the moment of a force so uh, in this figure you may see a range and uh, you can see a force is applied on the handle of this wrench and this uh, wrench has a perpendicular distance or moment arm d so when we apply uh, the force on this wrench uh, it produces a turning effect and uh, uh, this wrench is moved about a point the definition of moment is the when a force is applied to a body it will produce a tendency for the body to rotate about a point that is not on the line of action of the force so this is the basic definition of moment and uh, the scalar formulation says that moment is equal to force times the perpendicular distance so in this figure a you may see that the force and the displacement are perpendicular to each other if in any case the force and displacement are not perpendicular to each other we may take the perpendicular distance from point o so force is uh, moment is maximized uh, due to the perpendicular distance if you apply a force on uh, the perpendicular line of this range the moment will be maximum so moment will be minimum if you apply the force parallel to the moment arm so in this figure c you may see that uh, force is per applied parallel to this moment arm so there would not be any turning effect or or no uh, there would not be any moment produced so uh, this is the uh, formula to find the magnitude of moment and uh, uh, its direction moment direction of moment is found by right hand rule so the natural according to this right hand rule the natural curl of the fingers of the right hand as they are drawn towards the palm represents the rotation and your thumb and your thumb so uh, this is the right hand and curling of fingers according to this force so you curl your fingers according to this force and your thumb of your right hand is pointing towards the direction of movement so we use this formula to calculate moment uh, and uh, in this figure you can see that we can also find out resultant moments so we can add moments due to different forces according to their rotation uh, for example if the force f1 is turning in the 
anti-clockwise direction f2 is standing about o in the clockwise direction so anti-clockwise direction is taken as positive and clockwise direction is taken as negative we can add all these moments to find the resultant moment so this shows that we will generally take consider positive moment as counterclockwise so counterclockwise rotation is taken as positive so now we'll solve an example to understand uh, the concept of uh, moment how to calculate a moment of a force about its point O so in this example you may see that uh, he's asking you to determine the resultant moment of a for forces acting on the road shown in figure so we need to calculate moment about point O and uh, there are three forces acting on this member so there are four forces actually this 15 newton force 16 newton force 20 newton force and 40 newton force uh, we will examine each force individually and we will see that how much uh, distance perpendicular distance it has uh, from the point O so uh, we now calculate the moment due to force of 50 newton then we will calculate the moment due to uh, force 60 newton then 20 newton and then 40 newton so here you can see that 50 newton force has a perpendicular distance from point O is 2 meter so this 50 newton force will produce a clockwise moment so that will be equal to 50 multiplied by 2 100 newton meter moment will be produced due to this 50 newton force and it will be in this direction which is clockwise direction the second force uh, of 60 newton is passing from point O you can see its line of action this is the line of action of 60 newton force which is passing through point O and it has no perpendicular distance so if there is no perpendicular distance 60 newton force cannot produce any moment because its perpendicular distance is zero the third force is 20 newton and you can see this is the line of action of 20 newton force and this perpendicular distance of this force for this force is uh, this this distance this this is uh, 3 sine 3 3 sine 30 this is uh, perpendicular of this little triangle whose angle is 30 degree and you can see here this is 3 meter is hypotenuse <coughs> and uh, this is a perpendicular and we will uh, resolve this right angle triangle into its components and this perpendicular is equal to 3 sine 30 and this is the base and base will be equal to 3 cos 30 so we will multiply 20 newton with 3 sine 30 and this force multiplied by this perpendicular distance will be equal to uh, 20 multiplied by 3 sine 30 and it will rotate like this and this is anti-clockwise direction then the final force is 40 newton and it has perpendicular distance of uh, 2 meter plus 2 meter plus this distance is 3 plus 3 cos 30 so 2 plus 2 plus 3 cos 30 multiplied by 40 is e equal to uh, the moment produced by this force 
40 newton force and it will rotate like this so this is clockwise direction so we have two clockwise moments and one anti-clockwise moment now we see the solution of this problem so we when we sum up the moments at point O so first force which was 50 newton it was uh, this is the 50 newton force and it is uh, producing moment in clockwise that is why it is with the negative sign then 60 newton force with zero perpendicular distance is zero moment and then plus 20 this 20 is producing anti-clockwise moment so 20 multiplied by 3 sine 30 and then minus 40 multiplied by 4 this is 4 2 plus 2 4 and 3 cos 30 this is the 3 cos 30 uh, so when we sum up all these so we got uh, 334 is the answer and negative signs shows that the moment is resultant moment is in the clockwise direction 334